I really don't even know what I'm about to put on. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is my favorite part. What's up, Calvary? It's your girl, Naisha Nicole, back again with another video. Welcome back to Time to Queen. If this is your first time here, Go ahead and make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And also, leave me a nice little comment down below. Share it with all your family, friends, enemies, everybody. I don't care if you don't like them. Share it with them anyway. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and um, jump on into things. I am doing a get ready with me. We're all quarantined, so I'm not really going anywhere. But I'm going to a house party on house party. It's an app called House Party. It's like a video chat app. So um, I'm supposed to be on my way to Chicago this week coming up for one of my friends' birthday. However, thanks to Miss Corona Lachey Devirus, I'm stuck in Charlotte. So like a lot of other people cancel plans but we still are just going to make the best out of this situation um and stay home stay separate socially distant and still turn up for my friend's birthday so i'm just gonna throw on a nice little face for this house party i already did my eyebrows off camera and i'm just gonna go ahead i'm thinking i'm gonna do like a nice smoky eye um type situation so I know I'm not the only one who has had to cancel anything like a trip if you like to travel and you've had to cancel a trip you had a trip plan and you had to cancel it put an airplane in the comments because I feel you sis I feel your pain we in this together we are gonna get through this and we are gonna start back racking up on those frequent flyer miles. I just got to the point where I feel comfortable enough with my son not being with me 100% of the time. And I can go on trips and, you know, have some mommy time. So I'm just now really starting to get back into traveling and everything. And yeah, here come along Miss Corona and just ruin my little plans. But it is what it is, you know. Please, everybody, stay home during this time. You know, we're gonna this video. I'm not gonna take the video down after the shelter in place orders are gone. So, at some point, you know, this video is gonna be watched and it's just gonna be a memory. So I'm leaning on that. You know, one day this will all just be a memory. And outside is gonna open again. I can't wait for outside to open again. I'm not even the type of person to like go out a lot. I'm not um I'm not one of those people that's always on the scene. Like I'm 100 percent comfortable just being in my house, in my comfort zone chilling like I don't have to always be out so for me initially it wasn't that hard but now after literally being in the house for I think I've been in the house for like four days straight just me and Tyler straight like no gas station no grocery no nothing no nothing just being in the house for four days straight I'm starting to feel a teensy weensy bit of anxiety um yeah like it is starting to get real and i'm ready for outside to open back up again i ain't even about to play y'all and say i'm gonna leave a link to the comments leave a link in the comments with the products that i'm using i ain't even gonna play with y'all like that because i already know i ain't gonna do it <laughs> 
So, and plus, most of these um, products that I'm using, you can find them in the description box in a lot of my other videos. Like, I use pretty much the same products over and over and over again. Like, I use the same foundation every time. Um, I am looking to try and start trying new foundations. The hard part is that I can't go into a store right now and find my color. So that's not going to happen right now because I'm not about to get up here looking crazy with three shades too light on my face. Because, no. Mm -mm. And then the foundation that I use is not like I can compare it with any other because I use Il Maquillage. And it's a high-end, apparently it's a high-end um, foundation. And so a lot of the beauty counters like Ulta, Sephora, and places like that, they don't have where you can compare it to other products. Because I wanted to try the Too Faced. I actually went to Ulta before all this shelter in place stuff started. And I went to Ulta to get the Too Faced foundation to try it out. And my dumb ass got concealer instead of foundation so yeah but like i was saying um i do want to try and start trying new foundations but i use the same products over and over i use the ill maquillage i use the clinique i use the morphe setting spray i use nyx um and la um la girl pro um concealer like I use the same products over and over. Now, as far as like my eyeshadows, I do tend to switch them up a bit. And if I get a new eyeshadow that I am trying out and letting you guys know how I feel about it, then I will probably link that kind of stuff down below. But going forward, y'all don't expect to see a whole lot of that because that is, oh, that is so time consuming to <laughs> have to say, especially when you go in the store to buy your products. And then get online to try and find them online. Sometimes they don't have them online. Sometimes it's only in the store. Yeah, sometimes they don't have them online. Sometimes it's just hard to find. And I'm not about to do it. I love my Calvary dearly. I love the Calvary. I really, truly do. Um, like y'all bomb. But I'm not about to continue to do that. Now, what I will say is if you have a question about a product that you see me use, please leave me a comment down below or ask me about it. I try my best to respond to everybody. I'm not the best with that. Um, but I do try. And I'm trying to get better with it. So... Yeah, if you have a question about what product I'm using or um, anything like that, just ask and I'll be happy to tell you. And y'all, I am going to do a smoky eye, but I think I want this like little pop of color right here. Um, for some reason, when I opened this palette, this pink just screamed at me and it was like, use me. So I'm going to. So y'all, I just ordered like a buttload of stuff off of Ulta. That's the one thing about being in the house. Amazon, Ulta, Children's Place, New York and Company, um, Fashion Nova, and Boohoo. Now, I'm not saying that I've been ordering from all of them, you know, all the time. But they all have gotten a nice little coin for me over the last couple weeks. I'm just saying. And then they send these text messages. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you do that? Like, <laughs> don't do that because I'm going to buy something. It's hard. It's really hard. And they know that. They know what they're doing. Targeting people and shit. I'm going to do better. I haven't, um, but yeah, I just ordered a whole bunch of stuff off of Ulta and I don't know, should I, I do you guys want to see, um, a what did I buy or unboxing when I do get this stuff? Now I will say it's not going to be a real true unboxing because 
I <clears throat> I've been opening my packages outside and spraying them down with Lysol and Clorox spray before I bring them in the house. Uh, yeah, because we're not trying to get that virus over here. And I'm not even making light of the situation because I have one of my best friends that is recovering gracefully um, from it. And, you know, it, it, was, it was scary. And, you know, I wasn't one of those people that was really taking this whole situation 100% to heart. Like I knew it was serious and I know the severity of it. Don't get me wrong with that. Like I know that, but um, I wasn't really taking all the necessary precautions that I probably should have. And I wasn't really paying attention to it a lot. Like, I would read news articles here and there. And, you know, I see the stuff on Facebook and what have you. But I wasn't 100% invested in it. But then I saw when my friend got it. And it tore me up. Like, it really did. And at that time, I was still in the office. Like, I'm an essential worker. I work in corporate America. I think I've said that before. Um, and so, I'm an essential worker. And so, at that time, I was still going in the office every day. And she caught it at work. And so, that really just, it really got to me in a way. And I'm like, I don't want to go back to work. It is... It, it got really scary because I'm like, you know, you don't know who has it. And then, I, of course, I started reading more about it. And it's like you really have no way of knowing who has it, who doesn't have it. They really still don't even know how you contract it. Like, is it from passing by somebody in the street? Can you brush up against somebody and get it? Do they have to breathe directly on you? Do they have to cough in your direction? Do you have to come in contact with them physically in some way? Like, they don't really know. And that's the scary part about it. It's so many unknowns is what makes it so scary. <clears throat> and so, like, after seeing that with her, I just, I got really precautious, if that were, if that were, if that's a word. Y'all know I don't do the best with words. I be using big words that don't exist. But that's okay. We got our own language over here at Time to Clean. And I can say whatever the hell I want to say. It's my channel. But yeah, I got really cautious. So, and then now, poor Tyler. He just really doesn't even know what's going on. He's like, I want to go outside. I'm going to go to school because he has been going to school. Um, his school, thank God, is still open. They have been amazing. Um, I'm not going to say the name of his school, but I will say that they have been amazing. And they are like Fort Knox over there. When you, I can't take him in in the morning. Like his teachers and the administrators, they come out. They get the students. You have to call ahead of time and say, well, you're on your way. They take their temperature before they come in. They damn near spray you down with Clorox when you walk in the door. Um, yeah, it's been amazing, to say the least. Um, to see how they stepped up and what their continuity plan was with all of this. Because some of these companies out here, they really dropped the ball big time. They really did. And I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Because I'm talking about what I've seen. And that's that one that. And it's really, you know, amazing to see how the businesses that are essential, like your grocery stores, and the gas stations and the banks and 
the utility companies in all of these places, how they have stepped up. Now, what's going to be interesting is once all this is over, which I don't know if that'll ever happen because things like this don't ever die. It's not going to go away. Um, but life as we know it, will, as we did know it, will eventually have to get back to normal um, or what we consider normal. Um, what's that going to look like, you know? It's going to be interesting to see how they show their appreciation to all these people who have been on the front lines this whole time. That's that's really going to be interesting to see. Because it's already been kind of interesting seeing um, how some of these people have or some of these companies have treated their employees throughout this time. You know, there are a couple couple of companies out there that I saw who laid off thousands of people, closed stores, and didn't even tell them. Like, they gave them a shitty-ass phone call and said, don't worry about coming tomorrow. We close. Like, what? And I get it. It was just a surprise, just as much of a surprise to the business owner as it was to the employees. But damn, like, damn, you know? But, you know, like I said, life as we knew it or know it or what, however you want to say it, will eventually get back to some sort of normal. So what are some things that you guys are doing at home to keep your mind together? Because when I tell you, honey, my anxiety has been high lately with the last couple days that I've been in the house, exclusively in the house. Um, yeah, anxiety on, I'm going to say 10, maybe about a 7. So can y'all please, you know, give me some ideas. Give the rest of the cavalry some ideas. What are some things that you are doing while on your social distance, on your stay in place? How are you coping, if, especially if you have kids? Like, if you have kids, let me know what it is that you guys are doing to keep the kiddos sane because... I feel sorry for the babies. Like I said, my son is just like, he's only two. He'll be three in a few weeks. But he's just like, mama, what is going on? Like, I got to strip at the door when we walk in the house. Like, what is this about? Have you lost it completely? Like, I knew he was crazy. But dang. I swear that's how he be looking at me sometimes. So let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing to stay sane, to stay keep some normalcy in your household. What are you guys doing? Playing games? Are you cooking more? Um, what are you guys doing? Because I know I could definitely use some more ideas. Um to help out with my son to keep him active. Cause while I have been letting him play on his tablet a lot more, because like I said, I mean, he's young. Um, so it's only so much, and I'm not a teacher. I have so much respect for teachers. I have a lot of friends and family in education. I didn't realize how many friends and family I have in education. So shout out, shout out to y'all. Um, but I have a lot of friends and family in education and I am not a teacher. That's one thing I know I'm not because I don't have the patience for it. Like once I tell you how to do something once, well, first I'm, I'm kind of bossy. I know that I'm, I'm very demanding in so many ways. 
Once I tell you, first I'm going to tell you what to do. Then if you don't get it, I'm going to tell you how to do it. And I might reiterate it once, but what I don't like to do is repeat myself. So, teaching, not the profession for me. That's one thing I am not, is a teacher. So, um, yeah, while I have been letting him play, play on his tablet a whole lot more, I don't let him get bogged down and I only let him play with it at night, right before he goes to bed, first of all, uh, when I can monitor it. And, you know, I know he's not going to be on this bus for so long because even though he's only three, um, he is the type once he don't fight sleep too bad. In comparison to what I see other parents go through, he doesn't fight sleep that bad. Once he's ready to go to sleep, he's going to go to sleep. So I don't worry about him staying up all night, staying up late on a tablet, that kind of stuff. Because he's just not going to do it. Um, but it's not something that I let him do like all day, every day. But I would love some more ideas as to what I can do with him, like games I can play, activities we can do together. When it's just, we're home all day together. If he doesn't go to school, now that I don't have to go to work, I um, I still try to at least get him some outside time, get him some sunlight. But he, I can tell already, even though he's three, he's going to be a people person. While I am not that very much. Like, I get along with people, cordial, of course. I have personality. Um, that can be shown by the number of people subscribed to this channel. But what I'm not is like a gotta be in somebody's face all the time type person. Yeah, that's not my scene. But um, I can tell he's going to be the opposite of that. He's definitely going to be a people person. And so I'm starting to feel a little bad for him. Because I know he want to be around people. And we just cannot. We just cannot right now. But, I mean, as for me, um, I don't worry about me getting bored too much because I'm a sleeper. <laughs> I get bored, I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. And plus, there's always something to do. I can clean something. I can cook. Hell, I can get up here and make a video about something if I get too, too bored. So, I'm not worried about me so much, but I would still like to hear what you guys are doing to keep yourselves busy as well. That's one thing I do need to do is I need to get more active. Like, I think I need to like, wake up hella early in the morning and like, go for a run or something. I need to, I could use this time to work out. If you're using this time to get back in shape, if you're using this time to get in shape or back in shape, um, drop a little running man emoji down in the comments because, and give me some workout tips. What I can do around the house to work out because, um, yeah, I need to do something. But I need to do something like, um, one thing we are doing while we're working from home is we have meetings every like hour and a half, two hours where we all do squats or push-ups or sit-ups or something of that nature. So, you know, we just started that. We've only done one day of that though. So, um, course there's no real results with that yet um other than my legs being sore as hell the next morning because baby i don't know the last time i actually worked out i really don't it's sad i do not know the last time i actually worked out i think it was before i had my son dang so i definitely need to get back on working out more being more active and now that i have the time at home i really don't have no excuse 
Like for real, for real, I don't have no excuse at all. None. What else do I got to do, huh? But like, no lie, y'all. I'm not lying to y'all. I would never lie to the Calvary. I don't lie anyway, but um, but no BS. Like I was literally about to start back going to the gym before all of this started happening. I had already found where I wanted to go. I was looking at the space and what classes they offered. They had on-site childcare. I was ready. And again, yet again, here come Miss Corona Lachey. <sighs> messing shit up. Just messing everything up, honey. I like this. I think this is the first time I've actually done a white cut crease. Normally, I put some type of color or something on it. One day, y'all, I'm going to build up the courage and I'm going to do the whole rainbow. Um, the rainbow eyes. But I don't have the courage or the time. Well, I guess I can't complain about the time now, can I? But I... Definitely need to build up the courage and the skill on that before I attempt it. Um, but one day, just know, one day I'm going to put my hands together and do that. And while I am not a people person, y'all, like, I... I still like to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Like, I, like I said, I just got to the point where I feel comfortable enough leaving my son um even like with his grandmother now granted she's kept him multiple times since he was a baby but you know there's always a little bit of anxiety about the unknown like what if and me not being there I don't even want to think about that you know what might happen that kind of stuff like that so I just really got to a point where I can go and have a good time with friends and stuff and not really have a whole bunch of anxiety about it. So, like, I want to be able to go. I really want to be able to go and do whatever I want to do. And being told that I got to sit my ass in the house. 24-7 just ain't sitting right with me. Like, I, I think I might have a little bit of a problem with authority. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't. But, I mean, I'm going to follow the directions because I want this to be gone just as quickly as it came. I want things to go back to normal just as quickly as they changed. So I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to do what I'm told. I'm going to stay home and I hope you are as well. But I'm ready to go outside. Rave outside open. But until it opens back up to outside open back up while it's closed. And Corona out here doing whatever she want to do. And I, I think it's funny how we automatically give it a female persona. Because um, I have yet to hear anybody refer to this virus as he. But anyway. Um, until Corona finished doing what she going to do. I was just in the house and make TikToks. Who's made a TikTok since they've been on quarantine? But I do see where... This has some good in it. Um, I see where a lot of people are getting closer to their family. I see where people are picking up different hobbies. I see where pe people are really um, focusing and getting into their crafts, whatever that may be, um, whether it be YouTube or TikTok, because I hear some TikTok coins out there. I don't know nothing about them yet, but um, I hear some TikTok coins out there. Um, if they on TikTok or Instagram and Facebook, I, 
it's people out here are really getting into their bag and I'm, I'm for it. If you had a craft and you are comfortable with putting yourself, because this ain't easy, getting up here and talking to this camera, talking to y'all, interacting with people that you don't know on a regular basis, staying consistent with this, this ain't easy. So, and I really, really want to, while I'm on this subject, I really want to make a video about how to support a YouTuber because or a content creator, period. Whether it be a blogger, a YouTuber, somebody who is making a bag off of Instagram or Facebook or what have you. There are things that <clears throat> we need that people just don't understand. I feel like sometimes they may understand and they just don't want to support you. And that's fine. Cool. But don't be in my face acting like you're going to support me when you really don't. But like I said, that's a different video. Uh, we here to talk about Corona. But yeah, I see people um, really being creative with a lot of stuff. But what I do want to uh, put to rest is this whole you got to come out of this with a new craft or well, you wasted your time or you got to come out of this with some type of monetary um, significance in some way. Why y'all putting that kind of pressure on people? Like some people literally need this time to sit and be because they do that stuff. They constantly have those conversations with themselves in their head every day. And let's just face the music. I mean, everybody can't be on the cover for it. That's just the truth of the matter. So everybody can't be at home worried about how to start a business and all this stuff. I had to learn that because I'm really big on business ownership. I'm really big on that kind of stuff. And I had to realize that ain't for everybody. That's not everybody's um, story. And you can't force it on people. Some people just don't want that. They don't have the spirit to be able to do that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. If that's not your story, okay. Some people literally just want to work a regular nine to five. Go to work. Come home. Take care of their family. And be comfortable. They don't want to be rich. They don't want to be famous. They don't want all of that. Yeah, it's so hard for me to do my left eye. But I did it. Oh, God. Like, if you're like me and your allergies are just going crazy, it is so hard to put on makeup right now. Because my eyes keep running, my nose keep running, just everything is running. And it's just making life so freaking hard. I mean, I thought this was so creative for my friends to put this together, even though we aren't able to get together and celebrate like we wanted to. We still gonna do something. We're gonna make the best out of it. I know I need to do something on this bottom lash line, but I don't know what I wanna do yet, you guys. So bear with me, we'll figure it out as we go along. Basically, I'm good. So, for my creators, the people who follow me, who are subscribed to Time to Queen, who are also YouTube content creators, how are you guys staying motivated? Like, has that been super hard for you to stay motivated and to continue to make content? Have you made more content? Like, I know I asked this question in a Facebook group that I'm in of, of YouTube content creators. And this was early on and everybody was saying how they were still, you know, making content, still motivated and everything. But it's been a, a month now. Y'all still on that same page, sis? Or have things changed? Cause I was super motivated at first. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I mean, I still been doing okay, but then I missed like two weeks with my cavalry. I think it is so sexy 
when you put just a little pop of color on your bottom lid, like right in that waterline. I don't know, maybe it's just on me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just on me, I don't know. But I like it. I love it actually. Yes, I do. I do, I love it. I'm actually not gonna put on any lashes this time. Um, love my friends at that, but I'm just not a big lash wearer. I'm just gonna be in my house, so. Yes, I wear lashes, special occasions only. Or sometimes I'm that person if I don't feel like doing my makeup, I'll just throw on a pair of lashes. I swear this is my favorite part of a beat. It's the highlight. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. This is my favorite part. Like I will over highlight, so let me calm down. A lip, what kind of lip? What kind of lip we gonna do today? I need a lip. What kind of lip? I feel like I do nude so much. I don't want to do nude. I got this pink pop. I really don't even know what I'm about to put on. While I'm figuring that out, I guess I can go ahead and put on some mascara. Since I'm not putting no lashes on. This is, I will tell you about this product though. This is the Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. This was in a, I think it was in my birthday bag that I got from Ulta. Yeah, I'm about to go buy like four bottles of this shit because this shit is bomb. I'm really, really, really wanting to reach for this <clears throat> Fenty beauty but I feel like it's gonna clash with this pink that I got on up here you know what I'm just go for what I know and put on some pink I'm trying to think should I step out of my comfort zone and do a gloss on top That's cute. We cute though. Uh -huh. She cute. Let me do my head. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I did decide to rock my natural hair um, tonight. Since it's a stay at home party, I mean, I ain't about to put no glue on my head this late at night. Um, I'm cute. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Until next time, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I asked y'all some questions, so answer my question. That's rude for you not to answer my question, okay? Thank you. But yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. But until next time... It's time to clean, y'all.